Hello, this is the Wall 200. I'm here with Goblin Slayer episode 3 and 4 uh, review. Sorry, I didn't really cover 3. Nothing really happened. There's a lot of exposition. We find he meets new characters and they're basically going to this particular place to kill the, you know, goblins. And that's pretty much what all we really find out in this demons coming and it's going to destroy the world and shit. But nothing really happens and uh in the fourth episode, we get to see more um, them killing, you know, goblins and shit. Um, I guess it's like, um, I don't know, like a, a place where they hang out and shit. I don't know exactly, what, like a cave. Not exactly a cave. It's like, well, I don't know, like a ruin. And, and the goblins are hanging out there and he finds a scroll and shit. You know exploring and um they put all the goblins to sleep with the spell and they just fucking murdered all of them and this orc i believe or org i think it was orc it shows up and just fucks up uh the goblin slayer a little bit uh, he doesn't kill him or anything but he does uh, hurt him a little bit and he's like he knows fucking magic and shit so that was a lot of action in here and a lot of um, you know character development throughout the third and four episodes and they were pretty good i think they're like kind of focusing on uh talking too much there's a lot of it um unfortunately i think that does set up a lot of the you know story elements don't get me wrong there's a lot of stuff here and it's pretty well done it's not like incredibly terrible but it's on um quite lengthy you know <laughs> a lot of the episodes are turning out to be just talking and exposition and uh stuff like that which is not necessarily a bad thing but it seems to be a little bit too much of it in these two episodes other than that they're pretty damn good that's all i have to say thank you for listening right and comment and subscribe